Hey Outlaw Survivors, how are we going? Back again playing some more Westland. How are we doing guys? Alrighty, so I've just noticed here I need to open up some inventory space over this way. And yes, a lot of you guys have pointed out this, so thank you so much for letting me know down in the comments. I actually seen another video as well, King Bonker did it before. Um, realizing that we can in fact upgrade these storage uh, units here so we're gonna go ahead and do some of that today but also with saying that I'm also gonna head out to the town because I want to show you guys something I haven't checked it for myself yet but apparently this is um, a new feature but let's hit our storage option um, our storage unit I should say so the moment that you click on that it gives us the ability to go ahead and upgrade and if we click that once more, it gives us the ability to upgrade it once more. So I'm gonna need some fur for that one there to upgrade it to the next um, level. And you can actually do this as well with all the other um, workstations. So if you wanted to do a quick check just to see what is required here, obviously everything in red is what you do need. And obviously whatever's in white, we are good to go. So I don't have the bronze tools for that one there, but I want to go ahead and open up some of these as well. I think I want to open up that. Um, I think I'll be okay with that there. And possibly let's open up that. And that requires a different upgrade path. So slightly different materials, which is not a problem. We'll be able to do just that. But what you're going to find now is I've finally upgraded the weapons tables as well so the repair bench and the weapon um, the gun workbench I should say so now I've got accessibility to craft the flint dueling pistol the Springfield which is a decent weapon and then you've got the break open shotgun so the standard shotgun is a very slow shotgun decent damage but if you jump onto this one here faster attack and better damage but if and when we get the ability to get ash steel tools that we can craft and linen fabric i want this bad boy that's a deep that's a decent weapon 118 attack 390 damage you've also got the brand musket which does 500 damage but it's a very slow reloading weapon so Keep that in the back of your mind there, but that, that is another decent uh, weapon and the ability for us to use the Colt, which is a really good pistol. But unfortunately, we are cut off from that because we don't, do not unfortunately have the ability to craft any of that until we get the additional materials. But the repair bench allows us to repair the basic weapons that I showed you before that we can craft and we will have that accessibility at some point that we can open up this and go through that but for now aside from upgrading the storage units that we've just done now opens up a couple of more storage units for us so um the food was a problem for me because i started i started to use my overflow over here um for a little while until i started using the materials again but anyway that's that's another story but aside from that, I've pretty much maxed out all of the workstations, so I won't be able to provide you any more updates about the workstations here because I've gotten to the point where I can't increase anything else. Everything requires now linen, steel, and ash plank. So I've got steel, but I don't have the capacity to craft um, steel items. So that's the, the situation that I'm in at the moment. So if I go, I think it's over here, and my guy is stuck. He wasn't stuck before. Okay. Now the game did go through a minor update as well. So I haven't seen too much that have changed, but I think the change that I'm gonna show you in the town is part of the uh, the recent update. So as I said before, we are blocked. Can't make any steel items. I've got steel as a material, but I don't have ash, the linen or anything like that. So. We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna run over to the um, to the town. I'll show you what has changed from what my understanding is. So, I'm using the horse only purely because I can get out quick enough and I can move on to, you know, um, 
to the zone that I need to go to. So I'm not going to worry about the trade up. We're going to head over to town. I'll use up some energy. So there is a feature that is available now. So I think this been I think it has been available for a little while now, or well, since the beta update. But we weren't we didn't have any use for it up until now. So we're going to use it. So I think now we can actually talk to players. So there should be random players in the town that we can actually talk to. So I'm um, hopefully. Hopefully, we'll get someone running around in the town here. But just to give you guys a bit of an idea, and it doesn't appear that anyone's about, which is a bit of a bummer. I'll just quickly have a look around just to see if anyone's here. Alright, looks like there's someone running about here. Alright, so if a player is here, you can talk to him. And you should be able to go, hello. Send. Hopefully he sees that and he might stop. No? Okay. He's probably a little bit camera shy, but apparently, yeah, so we can talk to players in the zone. So let's do let's do that again. Does he stay? No, he doesn't. Alright, so let's see if I can just say hello my friend. Oops, ah. Alright, just stay there. <laughs> it's a little bit cumbersome, but it's the only thing that we've got here at the moment. Hello, my friend. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and send that, and hopefully, he actually sees that. So it's just a random player. I don't know whether or not he knows how to activate that or anything like that. But even if I were just to do the standard wave, you can obviously still do that as well and if he waves back then he knows obviously we're friendly kind of thing but yeah that's just a quick little thing I wanted to show you you guys can actually have a conversation with someone if they can respond back to you I'm not too sure if he knew exactly what was going on but that's my understanding that was released not, nothing too much nothing too drastic and the only other thing that I noticed that they sort of made a change about as well uh, through the update is I sort of changed the design of the stone hammer um, so a couple of little things like that that they sort of altering around and changing and I had a quick look to see if there was anything else that they sort of made a change as well so you can see the bronze hammer sort of got changed uh, still hammer still looks the same and aside from that that's the only thing that I can see that was changed but I do want to point out as well is that you notice that the saber's there you can make it at the forge so yeah you do need these items to craft the saber which is a, a decent weapon and hopefully when st steel becomes a thing and we can craft it a little bit easier that'll be a, a good go-to weapon for a lot of people um, that's just my opinion on that one but otherwise um, that's pretty much it and then obviously um, we've got the the armor the, as well so we will be able to make the armor uh, clothing and the superior armor clothing as well so that's always a good thing to sort of point out and then you've got the other weapons and things like that that you've got accessibility to craft so at least there's a few things here it's just a few few bits and pieces like this that um, this can't actually you can't actually get the description about that which is unfortunate um, otherwise, the granite is the other thing, along with the ash planks that we'll have uh, accessibility to, hopefully shortly. And we've got this as well. So this is our lark plank. Have never seen this before. Um, very si similar to the ash tree. So I'm not too sure when these two will pop up, but I'm hoping that will happen soon, I guess. And we'll be able to, um, yeah, definitely um, craft that up and use it but otherwise I just thought I'd just take you into town just show you quickly what that was sort of all about but um, not really going to sort of amount to anything right now but hopefully in future when they bring the multiplayer element 
if they do end up doing something like that or their version of it hopefully will um, be able to benefit from it I guess at the end of the day anywho we'll duck over here and um, we'll get some cotton because I do need some cotton but, yeah and a few other bits and pieces as well so this zone here the buffalo zone guys I know a couple of people have asked this before this so far is the zone to come to if you want to farm and I really wish I actually farmed a lot of this before they started updating the beta because um, you were able to get so much cotton at one point and now that they sort of tweaked it a little bit they've reduced the the cotton um, uh, drop rate which is really 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 painful but it just requires us to grind just that little bit more so we can you know get this achieve the same results I guess but in a little bit longer way of doing it so is what it is guys and also this is the place to farm for buffalo because you want to get the thin height as well from these guys so I want to take out this fella here And this gun's not too bad. I mean, I don't mind it. I mean, it's not the best, but... Alright, so let's see if I can get a buffalo on his own. Ah, uh, there's too many of them here. You really just want to... Attention one of them, or... At least get one of them just to sort of come at you kind of thing. Because if you do it in a pack of them, they are going to attack you in a pack, which is definitely not ideal. So let's see if I can sneak up on this guy. There we go. So he's going to run away. He'll eventually turn turn himself around and come and attack me. So that will happen in a moment. So whilst he's doing that, there we go. And he does do a decent amount of attack as well. So you got to have to be careful with that. And unfortunately, the speed of the gun is not quick enough to evade his attacks, but every buffalo that you kill you're going to get two raw meat and two thin hide i believe it's called thin hide there we go so you definitely want to take both of them especially cook up the meat for what it's worth i know it's not much but at least you get something out of it i guess at the end of the day otherwise that's pretty much it i just wanted to sort of come through here we've got some iron which is nice and I just wanted to sort of collect the rest of this. So I'll probably go ahead and do that in my own time. It was just basically a short video. I just wanted to sort of give you a quick little update of, of what's happening. Unfortunately, no, there hasn't been any sort of um, headway or any information provided to us at all in regards to when this update will finally make its way and drop. Um, so I know I get a lot of questions about that. It's pretty much the only question, to be honest with you, that I get asked. When will the update drop? Um, it, it's going to drop. I think at this point in time, the the biggest thing or the best thing that we can do, guys, is for those that are actually currently play, playing this beta, um, just provide all relevant information, suggestions, uh, bug reports, all that sort of stuff, and hopefully that the developers can get to them quicker, or so long as they know what it is. They can attention it to themselves and they can potentially get this beta off the ground and everyone else can start playing it because I think that's where it's at. Pretty much to the point now that we just need to, you know, provide all necessary and relevant feedback. And once that's all done, I think everyone can start playing the game. And that's basically it. I mean, right now, I mean, for me, I think for the most part we're just going to be revisiting a lot of other bits and pieces um zones and things like that so i might do a um a run on one of the npc bases and hopefully we'll have a look and see what's changed if there's been any updates to that you know have they sort of casually dropped certain materials in that zone um that we require like like the ash plank or the granite or things like that that might be something that i want to sort of check out for myself and hopefully I'll, um, I'll show you guys as well and yeah, we'll check it all out together. But I think for now we might just go ahead and leave it for this video today. I think we've covered pretty much everything I wanted to 
uh, today with this one here. I'm actually going to take you to another zone as well uh, in the next video. Uh, there is a boss in one of the uh, red zones, so I want to show you that as well. So, interesting. Um, I'll obviously armor up, get a decent weapon on board as well, so we can, you know, take it down. But otherwise, I want you guys to take a look at it and, um, yeah, just prepare yourselves. If you guys do end up, sorry, bit of a burp there, but... <laughs> And yeah, we'll check it out and we'll um, hopefully, yeah, we'll make something out of it. Anyway, hopefully guys enjoyed this one. Bit of a casual video today, nothing too intense. Um, but otherwise, yeah, hopefully we'll get this update soon, guys. I really, really hope that happens um, for a lot of you guys. I know you guys are just hanging out for it. There is so much to do and there is, um, and it's all good, you know. And as I said, I've said this in previous videos as well, so... It does. It is laying the foundation for this game to sort of take it to the next level. You know, right now, you know, the changes that have been made are quite significant. But, you know, personally, I reckon there's going to be even more updates that are going to be coming through. That's just going to make this so much more diverse. And it's going to give us a lot more reasons to keep coming back and playing this game. So... And that's the reason why I sort of came back in the first place, you know, because of the up, this massive update. It's a huge update. And yeah, I'm thoroughly enjoying my time with it. But that's it for today anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed, as I said before. Leave a like, leave a comment. If you guys are new, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Anyway, take it easy, guys, and I will see you in the next one.